everyone to another quick video putting here some public awareness in complete disgrace in my opinion you might have seen it already but if not the popular uh, youtuber repair audio repair video mark from mended mark did repair a 25000 dish pound preamp thing like you know like audio feel stuff that we, we do here uh, ourselves on our channel right at times and uh, audio schematics uh, high-end stuff and so he repaired the preamp apparently um, I didn't unfortunately see that video and also found that first of all highly expensive stuff right the vendor wanted probably thousands of pounds for repair and stuff was a relatively simple problem and he found that allegedly maybe the schematics were not the most amazing quality build quality and uh, quite out of some uh, example uh, schematics right from usual pre-m stuff and so what what happens in later is like the day a day or some days later his channel his video was copyright striked um, apparently allegedly from the manufacturer not liking the commentary of how to repair and uh, see some schematics he didn't even have the original schematics things Lewis Rep, uh, Lewis <laughs> Lewis Apple Lewis Osman's Apple repair just like he drew schematics like he used um, apparently allegedly i didn't see the original video because it's gone wish wish someone has it if someone has a video like schematics like how dare you publish schematics like uh, stuff um, for educational purposes and so he used the components um, if you use their op amps and stuff right you get uh, usually from the vendor around to save op amps I only use their uh, op, uh, op amp. So in the data sheet from the vendor, yeah, Blue Brown, oh, not Amazon. Yeah, so so think tiny, tiny little little things like this, like four, probably seven or five dollars a pop or whatnot. Um, also, I think TI purchased Blue Brown some years ago, right? Where it's just like some PDF data sheet. So in most data sheets, you find some your high fidelity low m stuff and how dare you show a reference like oh, low noise power low power fully differential amplifier game block and and, and stuff like how here here are our five dollar or like maybe 350 i don't know in whatever quantities how dare you use uh, the schematics right for audio field circuitry and this is of course completely unacceptable right um he has not stolen anything he show just how to repair it and as Lewis Rossman and I pointed out this is only reference uh, for illustration purposes only of course back in the day if you purchased the TV you had the schematics in there right like on the back um, carton or dry whatever uh, stuff um, metal or, or metal or wood or whatnot there was even the schematic inside glued inside or whatnot or as uh, here in uh, illustration purposes like Sinclair um, and other um, repair uh, service manuals like even Sony and stuff you even got from media player and stuff repair manuals. It's completely unacceptable especially not like some big name tech ripping off the stuff it's something else if some overseas clone manufacturer clones your stuff but copyright striking here fairly youtuber colleagues um, who just repairs this stuff and if you don't like the commentary of like no nah, that's a tiny little bit overpriced like no nah, that's a little bit freestanding there and like no nah, that's a little bit cheap capacitors then like maybe higher build quality that and if you want high quality deck why uh, why do I have this book I purchased this new um, 25 years ago so that, that is this is if you want apparently so apparently as the vendor copyright strike uh, so i don't have any inside knowledge so don't sue me and send me season to this letter season to this letters i'm only reporting about the case here so whatever but apparently the allegedly according to those youtuber findings and probably they are somewhat right because otherwise the vendor would copyright strike them for like how dare you criticize our overpriced product so if you want a cheaper and allegedly apparently maybe higher quality I can recommend you this book it is ISBN 392 8 
051-35-1 Elector Verlag GmbH Aachen. It is 25 years old. Maybe there is a new revision and maybe there are better books. But this is what I used to study, you know, when you, you order a book or you go to the library and you open it and you find not only schematics, you find board views, board views on paper. Um, so maybe for less than 25,000 uh, pound, you can YOLO your DIY stuff yourself. You yourself yourself, like maybe if you spend like a thousand or two thousand or five thousand pound. Hey, or even vacuum tube. You want to build yourself a vacuum tube amplifier for this superior warm vacuum tube amplification. Like hey, how dare there there are it's like next copyright strike for showing Elector Verlag GmbH Aachen, 25-year-old audio feel. Hey, this is an advertisement. Amazing book. Go buy it. Um, don't freeze the frame. Don't pen and pencil. Like, you want to buy yourself some audio feel high in goodness. Um, and recently, uh, anyway, so not only according to this copyright strike YouTuber, apparently, maybe allegedly, um, I heard. Um, this is not good. I recently tested quite some audio field stuff. I got the old, my, my old Kenwood Dolby S tape deck out. Um, I got my Yamaha uh, MDX mini disc player out um, and compared this to um, TEAC. Um, like stuff I have here, actually I could actually... So to, <clears throat> to the TEAC um, portable headphone amplifier thing, I didn't even make a video about the thing, <clears throat> just stuff I purchased years ago. Um, some maybe higher high-res audio than 20, like save yourself 25,000 pound. I think you will most likely not hear much of a difference. Um, because I compared this here, allegedly, so that is 250 or so, but I got it on discount for probably 170 some five years ago, and it's probably not on sale anymore. But I compared this, my, so my point is, you don't need such audio feel overpriced stuff. Because I can't, like, and I have relatively good ears because it didn't go much to disco ticks and, and concert and stuff, and didn't power pneumatic power drill hammer and stuff. Um, and uh, semi professional audio home recording stuff. And, and so I, I have some, some semi professional trained ears, and I cannot hear a difference between this TEAC PH50 and my 20 year old older because this is five years old, mini is player 25 years old, so 20 years older than this. I cannot hear difference between latest and greatest high-res stuff, um, even on a recently at birthday and got myself the most expensive headphones, yes. I got myself Sennheiser HD 660S2, I'll make a review here soon, and they are also not worth the money, they sound good. Um, I was skeptical with this open thing here. Um, they sound good, but you don't need them, right? And Sennheiser don't sue me, they're amazing. I would, like, of course, I saw some with discount because I'm not spending 600 euro for headphones. I got some for 400, that's <laughs> still freaking expensive. Um, stuff you do when you love music. But basically, yes, they are amazing, but they are not really that much better than 99 Euro or dollar Sony MDR7506. So, daily driver 25 years later, buy yourself reasonable good headphones. And sure, you need to like them, right? Like what is more important that they're comfortable, that they don't fall apart, that they last 25 years. And also in 25 years, literally, I cannot hear a difference even with the most expensive. Sure, they are more, okay, I take this back. These are not the most expensive Sennheiser headphones because you can get them for probably 25 or 50 thousand dollar, but I'm not spending that much money. But to review SGI Octane O2 and P3 audio, obviously I need some Sennheiser reference material. Um, didn't get them free, I purchased them with my own good birthday money recently. Um, and uh, also, so again, don't buy this overpriced audio field stuff um, unless you are a millionaire and it makes you happy somehow, but otherwise Again, I cannot hear a difference between a Sony natural sound mini disc recorder MDX 793 and a TEAC high resolution. Also, obviously, 
24-bit and 96 kilohertz is mostly a scam. Your ears do not hear more than 20 thousand hertz anyway uh, usually more like until 18 thousand whatnot and then with agent declines yes i'm getting older i'm still hearing relatively fine so go out there to your library <laughs> even for free or other archive org things and use how dare you use high high and also i can recommend bourbon of course high quality things previously bourbon no ti and other such quality things as we built ourselves a uh, deck anyway recently, right? So crystal and stuff, yes, high quality com components, good. Um, as I built myself an 18-bit crystal ADC DA uh, analog digital digital analog converter, sound card thing with 65,000 uh, Motorola DSP in 1998. Um, also, how dare you from a magazine article, right? From the Heise Media Group CT. So how dare you um, go out, read some books that probably result in higher quality, high fidelity things. Um, maybe avoid companies, pro tip. Maybe avoid companies that sell overpriced stuff and sue you if you say it's not that amazing. Also, I opened this tear thing, by the way, and I found the PCB, this is, um, <laughs> this is, I mean, so it sounds okay, right? I didn't return it. I purchased it also with my own money on discount. Like, I, hey, pro tip, um, recurring theme, I'm such a che cheapskate when I buy the most expensive headphones. Of course, I buy every single discount, right? If companies can give me 30% or whatnot discount, um, then they probably still make profits. And um, I could open, I should open this uh, someday because I open this just because as an audiophile schematic aficionado. And this is one of the dirtiest PCBs um, I've ever seen. So it's of course SMD component stuff, right? It's portable and stuff. But like they did not clean the PCB. I don't know what happened with this thing, if it was remanufactured like RM8 or whatnot. I purchased this new of, of a re online e-tailer. So I, I didn't get it second hand. I got it first hand on sale from like Amazon or so. And so maybe that's just TRX overseas PCB manufacturing. It's just full with flux and stuff, right? Um, I've never seen that, so that is somehow, I have no idea if that is TRX quality or not. This is probably the only device from TRX. Anyway, just saying, it still sounds okay. I mean, I, I was like, maybe one day I rub it with isopropyl alcohol because like, I mean, <laughs> maybe it, removing some flux residue improves audio quality, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Um, choose companies carefully and not like certainly most audio fuel stuff is totally overhyped right and um, don't be um, so blinded by 600 euro it sounds amazing like no, all, all, all you need is a reasonable mid-range stuff you will most likely not ever hear much of a difference and last but not least <clears throat> Be happy with what was you have, right? Everything, sure, 25 years later, I can, uh, <clears throat> for my 33rd, 33rd birthday, get myself some Sennheiser thing as a successful businessman, but I would not recommend it for normal people, and I don't, realistically, I don't need it, right? Enjoy, so first of all, be happy with what you have, like a P3 and a Shear O2, um, a S3 Verge, uh, 3, 3F, uh, 3X, 3FX Voodoo, or your Cherry MX switches. You don't constantly need a new keyboard or headset. <clears throat> and um, just enjoy your music, right? Like the music, um, also in listening test, I don't like, obviously this is digital, right? Like mini discs from 25 years ago. Yes, Etra compressed and stuff and uh, audio field compression. Uh, but like realistically, it sounds the same as CD and high-res audio and stuff. So just enjoy the music. The music doesn't get better or worse just because the last 1%, like spending 25,000 pound for a 1% differently, you will never hear again. Um, yeah, just enjoy your music. Um, that's much more important. And there always is some background growth anywhere, right? From some street, from some neighbor, from... So it's like, yeah, just enjoy the things. Leave in the comments below and Spread the word of manufacturers suing each other for you infringe our copyright of like I, I don't know. It's also apparently the the 
reenacting the build quality of uh, copyright um, on that yeah you like schematics see. how dare you draw how things are connected so that's it for this video let's go to twitch let's update some t2 packages let's have some sovereign tech linux fun hope you enjoyed this learn, learn something and um see you next time for all the increasingly tinkering and um, we still have some things to finish theoretically i have on my to-do writing linux driver for this either dsp card and uh, maybe we could also one day do opl3 fm synthesis uh, emulation on a 40 megahertz 56 kdsp and stuff for digital fully digital um low noise noise free low noise noise free um dos gaming goodness that's it for the we can ch quickly check um See what do we like some last comment so here yeah, don't don't delay don't support that um, click because girl in the thumbnail which girl no need to go m4 need a good m from zena so yeah i need i need a i i have an i have an amp it's portable amp but hey i have an i have a self-built 18-bit crystal deck thing of like the time of audio schematics, high-end audio schematics uh, of, of AAA things. Let's continue all the other discussion on Twitch. 